alaikum. In this video, I will uh, display multiple issues questions uh, for the chapter one, introduction to pharmacology concepts and uh, connection. Uh, by these questions, you can review the chapters and you can focus on the basic uh, information in this chapter. Uh, let us uh, discuss now the questions. is choose the correct and best answer the first questions question the nurse is using a drug handbook to determine the indications for the drug furosemide resex furosemide is a generic name and resex is one trade name the strike the term indications is defined as the let us see the answers which is correct about the definition of the term indications. The first option, way a drug works in the target organs. Second option, amount of the drug to be administered. Third option, conditions for which drug is approved. And the fourth option is reason that the drug should not be given. The Correct and best answer for this question is number three. Indications are the conditions for which a particular drug is proved. We can use also the term therapeutic use. They are the same meaning. While options one, two, and four are incorrect, a description of how drug works on its target organs and cells is called the mechanism of action. The dosage is the amount of the drug that is given, and the conditions where be the drug should be avoided are contraindications. The second question. The nurse is reviewing the patient's medication record and does not recognize the medication Ligros team Sandus with trade name Zarixio. Consulting the drug guide, the nurse finds it's listed as biosimilar to Ligros team with the trade name in Ubogen. Which of the following best describes the definition of biosimilar drugs? Let us see. The options, the answers. The first option, it's another term of generic drug when the two drugs exert similar biologic effects. Second option, it's a drug that has similar effects on the body but belongs in a different chemical and therapeutic classification. Third option, it's a drug that is derived from remix cells such as yeast and has comparable effectiveness and safety to the reference project drug. And finally, the last option for it's a drug that is identical to the reference project drug and thus does not require FDA approval. The best answer or the correct answer, the answer is option number three, the third option. Because like the original reference product drug, biosimilars are derived from living cells such as yeast or bacteria. They are undergone mod chemical modification. They are not exact, duplicate copies of the original medication but have comparable effectiveness and safety. While option 1, 2, and 4 are incorrect because it's not an exact duplicate copy of the original. A drug, it cannot be considered a generic drug. It is not a different therapeutic or chemical class because it differs little from the reference product. It must still be evaluated by the FDA and demonstrate that the biosimilar differs very little from the approved reference product before it's, it is approved. The third question. As a member of interprofessional team, what care responsibilities does the nurse have to ensure effective pharmacotherapy? Select all that apply. This means that there are more than one answer. The first 
answer monitoring the patient's condition before and during pharmacotherapy o teaching the patient about self administration and any required monitoring of drug effects third option ensuring that all drug and treatment options have been considered before beginning pharmacotherapy fourth option frequently conducting medication reconciliation to verify current medications in use and the last option determine Determining the ideal drug to be prescribed to the patient to treat the current condition. The true answer, correct answer, is option number one and two and four. Monitoring patient response to drug therapy, teaching the patient about self administration and how to monitor drug effects, and verifying drug currently being used by the patient are all key nursing responsibilities. While options three and five are incorrect, the prescribing provider weighs alternative treatment options but may not consider all available options due to the many variables such as cost or complexity of treatment, whereas the best option to treat patient's condition will be chosen. The ideal drug does not exist because each patient's outcomes from drug therapy will be affected by many variables, as we seen in the lecture. Now, the fourth question, which patient characteristics, if noted in the patient's medical code with the nurse, consider important information that may affect the physiological response to the various types of drug therapy? Select all that apply. Here, we have more than one answer. Option one, if the patient is 22 years old and female, second option, Asian, and obese, fourth option, past medical history of kidney disease, fourth mother and sister with diabetes, and last option has no medical insurance. The true answers or the correct answers is option one, two, three, and four. Physiological responses to drug therapy are affected by patients' age, gender, race, body mass, and health status. Many diseases such as diabetes have genetic origins. Familial history of disease conditions may reflect potential problems in the patient. While option five, option five is incorrect because not having medical insurance is not a physiological variable that would affect drug therapy. This is a simple question. The fifth question the nurse is looking up a drug that has been prescribed and wants to know the therapeutic classification for the, the drug. Which of the following would indicate therapeutic classification? Is beta adrenergic antagonist or antihypertensive or diuretic or calcium channel blocker? The answer is two. Antihypertensive indicates the therapeutic classification of the drug by describing its usefulness in lowering blood pressure, while options 1, 3, and 4 are incorrect. Beta adrenergic antagonists, diuretics, and calcium channel blockers are focused on how the drug works rather than what therapeutic effects occur, so they belong to pharmacologic classification. The last question. Comment your answer. The nurse is asked by a family member. They are giving mom maturine and she takes trophin. Hasn't the wrong drug been altered? The nurse will respond knowing that. First option, there has been an error in the order and the nurse will contact the healthcare provider or there may be a reason for the healthcare provider to order a different drug, or not all healthcare agencies, but the same generic drug, and that may account for the difference by the same generic drugs, and that may account for the difference. And last option, motrine and trophin are trade names of the same generic drug, ibuprofen. 
I will pleasure if you send your comments with the answer in this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you later in a new video. Okay?